Hey everyone, I'm Franny. Welcome to Paws and Paint Studio. If you're new here, I look forward to getting to know you. Please introduce yourself in the comments below. And if you're returning, thank you for hanging out with me again. I would love it. <laughs> love it if you would drop me a note in the comments below to let me know that you were here today uh we have the bulldog hanging out with us so if you hear obscene noises in the background he's like right here <laughs> he's waiting um i don't know what he's waiting for but he's he's here he's ready to go so today we're going to do something today's a, a craft with me as you probably saw in the um description or the title. So I have my idea book here and um, I have uh, recently I made this little charm here that I want to, uh, whenever I make things for my idea book, I just make them very basic on a white piece of garbage paper. And um, so what this is, is just, I took a regular piece of copy paper and I'm going to show you how I made it but what I have is a tuck spot here a tuck spot here and a pocket here so we're going to make one of these and this is for Kathy's garden on tag me Tuesday so I am a couple days late I'm a little bit late and um <clears throat> I wanted to use my pretty drop paper here that I've been working on for a while now. Uh, I thought that I would use this. I'm due for a new one. So this is very pretty. It's ready to, to, um, to shine and be something, something more. <laughs> Chewy, don't mind all of my mess under my drop paper. My goodness, you guys. Um, next time you see my desk, it will have a fresh new piece on it. So fear not. Um, all right, I'm going to start by getting rid of this tape. And by getting rid of it, I mean holding it over. Because I don't mind the tape at all. It's just a little more texture and a little more um, interest. And I am a mixed media girl at heart. And if there's a way I can incorporate mixed media into my memory keeping, I am all about it. All right, so I'm going to start with, you know what? I'm not going to measure. I'm going to just get out my paper cutter and let's yeah, this will do, this will do. Um, all right, so we have to go. I'm thinking this is the side that I want. So I'm gonna go from this away and I'm going to go eight and a half. And I'll have Kathy's video linked below where she makes this. Um, I did see her make a couple of different sizes. I didn't note the sizes that she made. So I don't think it has to be eight and a half by 11 if you want to make it a different size. I, I think by all means you can absolutely do that. So you do you, boo boo, eight and a half by 11. Um, hmm. I wonder if I want I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna save that rippled edge and just see what happens. It'll be a little experiment. All right. So the next thing I want to do is back this because this, um, as you can see, this is, where this pouch is, this part right here. And so, well, let's just fold it. Let's just fold it. Um, see if I can remember how. So first we go like this. And then, which side do we want to be the front? I kind of like that side. So we'll go this way. 
Oh, I got something thick there. That does not, that's not excited to fold. <laughs> I don't know what I got on there, but it's, it's not having it. That's too far. Dang it, Franny, pay attention. So we only go part way because see this, so this we create, I don't know if you can see that, we create this little spot here. So, oof, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Let's see, bone folder, here we go. I may not, I don't think I'm going to be able to truly back it because that's just too dang thick. Oh, no, that's not what's causing the problem. There's something shiny on there. I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so then we take this piece here where we have this short corner, open it back up, and this folds inside. Um, on the other one that I made, I had to fold it just shy of the fold to make it all work. So you might consider doing that. And now we have this to deal with. So this is the part that I want to cover up. And I'm thinking I might just um, use a little chunk of some tea dyed paper. Just, uh, let me see what I think of that. It's pretty, pretty blah, huh? Actually, it's not terrible. I don't hate it. I'm going to do it. So the way I'm going to do this is just to take my glue I don't know why I struggle with glue so much okay all right take my glue <laughs> it's still not gonna work that's lovely it's trying. I'm gonna have to open it up and clean it out. So I don't need a ton of glue. There we go, that's probably enough. And I'm gonna use the um, whole side because those will be hidden. I'm probably going to get glue on my desk, but that's okay. And then I think I'm just going to tear it because I'm not trying to be fancy. All right. Oh, <laughs> so much for being hidden, right? Um, let's see. What can we do with this? What if we just do that? And even more so, what if we just do this? Oh yeah, I already realized the error of my ways. It's probably already no too. But um, now I have to tear this side. <laughs> That's okay. Um, this is going to be very tattered and it's just hard to tear because of whatever that plasticky stuff is on the other side. Whatever, whatever I've got on here is just not a good situation. Okay, and now this side. I'm probably going to try to do this without the ruler, I think. It's definitely easier without the ruler. Yes, there we go. That's good stuff. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Now this opens back up and gets a bead of glue here. Okay. 
and a bead of glue here. Alright. There is that. So there's the pocket there. Um, did I glue that wrong? Oh no, it's just not dry. Patience, Franny, patience. Gee whiz. I need a wet wipe. Okay guys, so um, I found this, this uh, dye pack that I've had forever and ever by Bow Bunny. It's called Noteworthy, I guess. Uh, I assume that's what it's called. Um, it says it again here. This was a, um, it was a dollar ninety nine. So I'm pretty sure I probably found it at Tuesday morning at some point. Um, I've used a couple things out of here, but not much. <laughs> so this was fun to look through. I found this. I like this, and I think I'm going to put it on here, kind of like that. And I thought this was cute to go right on the front there. Maybe I can weave it so the leaves kind of overlap a little bit like that. And then I thought this could go in the pocket back here. Isn't that fun? And then these are some journal cards that um, a friend of mine made for me. So that can go in there and this can go up here. Now I want some tabs, I think, at least a tab for this one so it's more noticeable. And since these corners are rounded, I think I'm going to round these corners as well. So let me just do that real quick here. Uh, those look like a big corner, so do the bigger side, which is this side. That may have been smaller corners now that I'm looking at it, but it's okay. They don't have to be exactly the same. And I remember seeing, oh, and I see them here, some tabs. So I just want to, I'm going to open this back up and pull all of this stuff back out and find some, a tab. I think I'm just going to put it on, on the smaller one. I already know I don't want that one, so I'm not going to fuss with trying to pull that out. But what color do I want? This one? Yeah, I think that's the one I want because it kind of matches that. I'm not super crazy about it. I think I'm going to put it on the underside though, like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with the back, but I'll worry about that later. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that right now. Pre-made tabs are like this are hard for me to use because um, of this exact reason right here. This is not how I would normally use a tab, but the way I would normally use it, I don't like it. I don't like it on top of here. So I feel like this is my alternative and I don't like it. <laughs> but I will figure something out that I will like when I get ready to use this. And I don't, this doesn't have a plan yet, so I have time. Um, I'm just making this to play along with Kathy's challenge. I like her Tag Me Tuesdays challenges. They're, they're really fun. And 
sometimes I find something that I like. I, I think I've played along a couple times now and posted my videos. Whoops, I forgot I was gonna weave that a little bit. Let me, whew, all right. So it was gonna go under here and on top of there. There, yeah. I like it a lot. And then this guy just tucks right in there. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. And you know, there's plenty of room in here for more. So I could easily add more stuff in there if I needed to. But usually um, I typically only make pockets that have one pocket because I don't usually have a ton of stuff to add in. So there it is, guys, a super quick and easy craft with me. Um, I, hope that, I hope that you play along. I hope that you make this little pocket because this is so much fun, guys. I, I just love how this looks. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'll have Kathy's channel tagged below so you can go see her, watch her make hers. And she has a Facebook group. I, I don't, there might be a prize or something if you play along. I, I don't really know because I don't play for prizes. I just play to build up my stash. So um, if that's something you're interested in, I think she has a Facebook group or something. So you can get all that information on her channel. But for now, this is it for me, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that you did something fun. I hope that you got to craft along with me. I hope that you are living your best life. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.